leads Neil Robertson by three frames to nil. Selby has made breaks of 134, 56, 68 and 55. Just mentioning at the uh, tail end of that last frame there, the best of seven sort of culture that's been in the game the last six or seven seasons. What it does is it doesn't really allow you too many mistakes at this level. Going back to that, I think the biggest mistake for Neil today was that foul, wasn't it, when he was in the balls and just feathered the black with his cue. Well, and also when you thought, Alan, and I agreed with you that he played the wrong shot from a red which was hanging over a pocket and didn't get on the black. Ah, the potting machine has broken down. But taking up your point about the best of sevens, Alan, I think everybody would like matches to be at least a little longer, even in the early rounds, but it's to accommodate the matches in a certain period of time on a certain number of tables. That's why it's done. Tomorrow's quarterfinals. Well, in fact, there'll be three quarterfinal tonight. We go up to best of nine, best of eleven in the semis, best of nineteen in the final. So there's more time for an ebb and flow within a match. Foul. Neil Robertson, three. Well, it never rains, but it pours. First of all, Robertson didn't get into the bunch as he intended. Then, with that safety, he managed somehow to drop the pink in the left middle. So Selby invites Robertson to play from the position that Robertson intended to have him playing from. Yeah, the two reds together, I think the way Mark Selby was looking at them, they're probably a plant, but Neil can't get to them. Yeah, he's having a good good look at it. As I say, there's no the pinks blocking the path to it. There they are. It's just offset. The red, the first one of the three reds is actually in the, the perfect line. So if you could hit that, which obviously Neil can't, but it looks a certainty. Should you, should you be able to hit that? And that's what he played. He actually played a four ball plant there. Long game. I know his first shot of the match, he potted a good long red, Mark Selby, but he's only made one out of four in total. One. Two out of five. <laughs> Never fails, does it? Yeah. Are we satisfied with who's landed on this green be given this plenty of thought now he can drop decent on a red himself a chance to make inroads Yeah, 
little wince there. I mean, he's happy to be on the red, but how does he get on a colour? Maybe just a little soft screw. Leave himself a tricky pink. I think he's going to have to settle for that. Yes, it's just a, the gentlest of soft screws. This pink Fine. isn't a cinch. Mark Selby, 11. Well, I don't know whether that pulled out very slightly. Yeah, there's no doubt about it, it did. I don't know if he had it as cleanly as he was hoping, but it definitely pulled out. Whether it was in initially, we'll never know. Thanks, Neil. Thank you. Seven. Just not happening today, the big Aussie. You'd be disappointed with that. That was quite a, that was a bad mistake to make. As we've seen before, especially in this tournament. Players going three, three nil, three nil, three one bind, and still coming back and winning. Still worth keeping your concentration. Seven. It's funny actually the <laughs> talking about best of seven and best of nines, it it seems that quite a few matches are won these days from three nil behind, but there never seem to be many won from four one behind in a best of nine. I think it's the same thing, but it, maybe it just seems that way. a tricky little pot but Selby has been potting just about everything so far and I didn't think that that would be an exception I don't think his failure at his previous visit to the right corner was entirely down to him the red didn't run truly towards the pocket And so it goes on. <laughs> it 
was a good putt, and it was the only way that Robertson could play it because he couldn't get any spin on the cue ball from tight under the cushion. Yes, amazing, isn't it? With seeing there, you know, some days it just doesn't seem to happen for you. Every door he pushes open, another one seems to close. That was a reasonable chance from distance. Foul. <laughs> Mark Selby, four. Well, Robertson flukes are red, but goes in off. <laughs> she looked at a prize for that. A good old laugh about it. <laughs> that was a chance for Robertson to get into the match because Selby, for one reason or another, has missed three pots in this frame. to be able to take this red on. The, the cue ball's going to arc through the little gap of pink and the other red. Well, Robertson works out what to do. I can tell you that Mark Joyce has made the highest break of the tournament, 140 against Ding Junhui over on table two, although he still trails Ding by three frames to one. a useful wobble but for which the cue ball would have returned much further up the table Strong right of centre striking to avoid contacting second red and thus completing the safety satisfactorily. Yeah, it was a typical Mark Selby shot that was He's a master at picking the half ball safety where it's impossible to can in the red or colour on the way back to bulk. No, I said before, Neil Robertson, every door that opens, another one seems to close. And it's going to be the case again here. That's unfortunate. Important, though, he gets tight up to the screen. Neil Robertson Just won. about good enough. Yes, and although he didn't have position to get into a break, he did have the roll-up snooker.
Yeah, this is three cushions and rest into the back of the bunch. <coughs> Fabulous. Great defence. Three reds are quite a wide target, so he's given himself every chance to nestle on them. Great cho shot choice. Take this long red on. The only red he can leave is the one he's playing. Stunning it dead or just dragging it back a couple inches. Obviously guaranteed on the pink, so this is probably worth it. Especially at 3-0 in front. Whoa. Well, Robertson just hasn't managed to get into the match. Eight. And time is swiftly running out for him to do so. Fourteen. No oh dear. Fifteen. Potted that thin. Potted it in the lower half of the pocket. That's why he's kind of laughing. Look at this red going in. And that's why the cue ball travelled about eighteen inches more than it should have done. Good recovery. Eighteen. Nineteen. <clears throat> oh, that was a great shot. That was a beauty. To finish the correct side of the pink there. That was a brilliant shot. Didn't look it. Tell you what, he'll be delighted with it. This pink is, well, it's not match ball, but it's not that far away from it. He knocks this in. He fancy him to win the frame and match at this visit. Twenty five. That that's the one he wants to play. He may have to just play it with the slightest trace of left hand side. Yeah, that's 26. what he did play. 40 in front. So red and high value colour would be enough. 
56, 68 and 55. 36. He made a few mistakes early in this frame, but he's not made 37. any in the latter part of it. And he's gone on very convincingly to clinch his place in the quarterfinals. 37 for So Mark That's Selby right. beats right. Neil Robinson by the surprising margin of 4-0 and proceeds to the quarterfinals.